These are the creme de la creme of Namibia's diplomacy. Every second year they meet to discuss how to effectively represent the country on the international arena. And this year their conference came exactly a week after the Foreign Policy Review Conference. The president, whose message was delivered on his behalf by Prime Minister Sarah Kwangelwa Madila, says he expects nothing but best representation of the people and government in countries and organizations of their accreditation. In order for us to make an impact on the ground, I am requesting the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation in consultation with or through the government to see to it that all our diplomatic missions and general consulates are allocated specific regions in Namibia to which they should attract social and economic projects. This will be in addition to your tasks to promote trade and investment in general. The head of state also called for the vigorous pursuit of economic diplomacy, adding that diplomats have a role to play in seeking support for Namibia's conservation efforts and to mitigate climate change. Namibia has been experiencing increased poaching of endangered species like the rhinoceros, which we condemn, and invite the support of friendly nations to bring to halt the killing of our protected species. You have a role to play in telling our success story in conservation. To Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Netumbo Nandindaitwa, diplomats should not lose sight of the global development priorities. Our people and the government are looking forward to us who are directly linked between them and the outside world to deepen the bilateral and multilateral partnership. Therefore, we must be the front runners of projecting and advancing the interest of Namibia internationally. Namibia has 32 diplomatic missions around the world, and all their heads are present at the conference. Donatani Shidudu, NBC News, Vinduk.